Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue à Learn French by Suchita. Je m'appelle Suchita, votre enseignante de la langue française. Et dans cette vidéo, on va apprendre trois formes d'interrogation. Before we begin with this video, I would like to introduce you to my website, www.learnfrenchbysuchita.com, where you will find recorded courses for all your French language needs. We have courses for DELF A1, DELF A2, DELF B1, TEF TCF recorded course, French phonetics as well. We have special courses for our school students ranging from grade five to grade eight. We also have courses for university students who are enrolled in certificate course or diploma course in Delhi University. And finally, we also have courses for our school students who are aiming to appear for their Delft Prime or Delft Junior examinations. So hurry up and check it out. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. And in this video, we are going to learn three forms of interrogation. We are going to basically learn all the forms of interrogation. How do you ask a question in French? Okay. So now there are three ways of asking the questions and I've divided the series into two parts. In this part, we are going to learn the first two ways of asking the question. And in the next part, we are going to learn the third way of asking the question. So let's start with the first one and that is known as l'intonation. L'intonation, which in English would be known as intonation. Now, this form exists in English also. How? Like for example, if I say you speak French, you speak French. Now, I have said it in such a way that it seems like a normal sentence. But if I raise my tone and I say, you speak French? Now, what did I do? I said the same thing, but in such a way that it seems like a question now. So if I say, you speak French, that's a normal sentence and that ends with a full stop. But if you say, you speak French, now it will end with a question mark and I have said it in, a, in my tone, in such a tone that it seems like a question. Okay, so here there is no major difference in terms of writing. In the simple sentence, you will end it with a full stop and in a question, it will end with a question mark. But the major difference seems in the way you are saying. You speak French? You speak French? Now that's a question. Now I have written few examples in front of you, wherein all these are questions because they are ending with a question mark. If I put a full stop, Instead of a question mark, they will all become normal sentences. Then they no longer will be questions. Now look, let's look at the first example where vous parlez anglais. Now it ends with a full stop. So that means it's a normal sentence. Vous parlez anglais. You speak English. Now, as soon as I remove this full stop and I put a question mark, it becomes a question. Vous parlez anglais? Vous parlez anglais? Which means you speak English? Now, by this way, you can write any sentence and put a question mark, raise your tone, and it would become a question. For example, tu as des chiens? Tu as des chiens? You have some dogs? Il aime les fruits? He likes the fruits? Elle est italienne? She is Italian? Vous chantez? Do you sing? Ils sont grands? They are they're tall? So they are all normal sentences, but since you've raised your tone, they become a question. Vous parlez anglais? Tu as des chiens? Look at the way that I'm saying. Il aime les fruits? Elle est italienne? Veux chanter? Ils sont grands? Now they are all positive sentences. You can also make them negative. So like for example, vous parlez anglais? You can also say, vous ne parlez pas anglais? Vous ne parlez pas anglais, I can also make it negative. That doesn't make any difference. Even then it's a question. Vous ne parlez pas anglais? Elle n'est pas italienne. By the way, if you do not know how to make a negative sentence, I'm dropping the link in the card above. You can watch that video and then come back here again. So, all these are questions by the first way, that is intonation, wherein you do not have to do anything. You just have to remove a full stop and put a question mark and raise your tone. Now, the second way of asking the question is using est-ce que, est-ce que, est-ce que, which means, is it that, est-ce que. Now, this que changes into q-u apostrophe if you have a vowel after it. So, est-ce que. Now, if you prefix est-ce que before any sentence, 
it will become a question by the second way. You can very well ask these questions using the intonation form as well. But these are different ways of asking the question. You can choose any way. Okay. Now, the first is, Est-ce que tu as des chiens? Is it that you have some dogs? You could very well have said, Tu as des chiens? Using intonation. You could have said, Vous parlez anglais? Il est italien? So there's no problem with that. But the second way of asking the same question is by prefixing est-ce que. Now, est-ce que tu as des chiens? Is it that you have some dogs? Est-ce que vous parlez anglais? Is it that you speak English? Est-ce qu'il est italien? Is it that he is Italian? Est-ce qu'elle est grande? Is it that she is tall? Est-ce que tu aimes les fruits? Is it that you like the fruits? Est-ce qu'ils sont bons? Is it that they are handsome? Est-ce que Marc chante? Is it that Marc sings? So what is happening? You are just prefixing est-ce que and it becomes a question by the second way. Okay? Now this question can be positive, can be negative. I'll just tell you that, but before that I would like to tell you that here we are putting que because you do not have a vowel after it. But as soon as you have a vowel, like il, el, il, whenever you will have a vowel, this Q-U-E will change into Q-U apostrophe and it will become a one word. So it will become es qu'il. Now here, like you have es que tu as. These are two different words. Que and tu. Que and vous. Que and tu again. Que and mac. These are two different words. But as soon as you have a vowel, it becomes one. So it becomes qu'il. Kinder, kingdom. Okay. Now again, you can also make them negative. That doesn't matter. Like for example, est-ce que tu as des chiens? You can make it negative by saying est-ce que tu n'as pas de chiens? Est-ce que vous ne parlez pas anglais? Est-ce qu'il n'est pas italien? So it can be positive. It can be negative. Let's just revise the two rules, the two ways of making an interrogative sentence. The first one, wherein you just have to remove the full stop and put a question mark. And you have to raise your tone to say it. Okay? Vous parlez anglais? Tu as des chiens? Il aime les fruits? Now, the second way is by prefixing est-ce que. Est-ce que, like for example, est-ce que tu as des chiens? Est-ce qu'il est italien? It can be positive, it can be negative. Est-ce qu'elle n'est pas grande? It can be negative. Est-ce que Marc ne chante pas? Is it that Marc does not sing? Est-ce que tu n'aimes pas les fruits? So first way, just by putting question mark and second way, by prefixing est-ce que. By the way, I suggest you to write few questions by using the first way or the second way and mention them in the comment section below. I'm going to check them out.